Now, before we go, Brandon touched on this earlier today. I said, Brandon, what's the time most people, what's the time most criminals be outside? What time do you tell me, Brandon? I can't remember what time did I say. Brandon, said three in the th- morning. I'm talking about when we talking about the New York thing. You said no, Brandon. What time you said out and oh. about? What time you shouldn't be out and about? What? T- oh, seven p.m. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so let's look at now. This is Vivia. This is a security company. Mm-hmm. So uh, also uh, they scamming too, but that's on another topic. Trying to scam my sister out some money. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but here's the most crime happens in these metropolitan areas. Okay. Brandon hometown is from Atlanta. <laughs> That's not true, but okay, we'll go with it. Brandon, where is the most? <laughs> where, where is the most the worst time to be out in Atlanta, Brandon? Four to seven p.m. How about Boston? <laughs> Same time. Chicago. <laughs> Same time. Four to seven. Dallas. <laughs> four to seven. Detroit, a little different. How yeah. about Los Angeles? At noon to three p.m. Interesting. All right. How about Lauderdale? Four to ten. I mean, four to seven. How about New York? Four to seven. All right, you can see the rest. Why mm-hmm. is four to seven a? This is time the cold want to go out. That I tell them no, <laughs> but she just think well, where people, up people get people getting off work. You know, it's 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 usually when cities are busiest. You know, like there's a lot going on, so it's it's not slow. Correct. You getting off work while you was at work, you was inside a box, <laughs> and nobody could come rob you in your box unless Correct. it's a flash mob. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you get outside your box. Mm. Yeah, I got to pick up the kids. I got to go to the grocery store. I got to go to the mall. All right. So you in the public, and also, what time the criminals wake up, Brandon? <laughs> At noon. They wake up about around noon. So they, there you they go. Get, get up by three. They, so, they dressed at three o'clock. So yeah, they were in the street. So the violent criminals at eight o'clock in the morning, they sleep, man. Yeah, true. Unless it's a homeless person, they sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock, they ain't out there. Ten mm-hmm. o'clock, they ain't out there. Mm-mm. Eleven o'clock, you may start. You know, they waking up, they getting off the buds, getting off the drugs. Right. You know, then they come out. So guys, <laughs> in all these cities, from four to seven o'clock is That's the funny. most likely. Some and I ain't need no article to know this, Brandon. I know right. this auto- automatically. Now watch this. Let me see how I make this smaller. And I'll go show you how true this is. All right, Brandon. Assault. You see assault? Mm-hmm. What time is this? That's four to seven. Okay. So it seems like assault from 12 and 11. Somebody about to get their ass whooped. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's look at let's look at burglary. What's these times again? Yeah, same thing. It's, it's <laughs> to, more, right, right. to eleven. Right. And what? Now here's a good one. You see drug dealing. Mm. <laughs> see, drug dealing is higher between twelve and seven. Why is that, Brandon? Because <laughs> that's where people start getting up, and they want to get uh, the, the re high. I guess there you, you want to say they want to. People they wanna... getting off work got to get that buzz on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what's that five point eight uh, right there? Drug related. Five point eight. Five point eight. Oh, it's between 7 a uh, 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. Ain't no crime happening right here. <laughs> right. You could go in the worst neighborhoods in America. Mm-hmm. Ain't no crime happening between 4 and 8. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 5 a.m., 4 a.m., mm-hmm. people may be coming home. 5 a.m. Right. and 7 a.m. Ain't nobody going on. Yeah. You see? And you see Darson people, those sneaky motherfuckers. <laughs> they try to get sleep. you in your, in your sleep. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> they try to hit you. They try right. to burn somebody else out while they hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you see the sneaky? Yes, I do. And if you know, if you ever seen an arson, a person who do arson, they're a very particular person. Mm-hmm. Watch their photo; they'd be like crazy looking. Yeah, right. You know? Exactly. Got some mental issues for sure. All right, fraud. You see what time fraud happened? Why do you think mm-hmm. fraud happened between uh, twelve and three o'clock, Brandon? I got well, an explanation. All right, well, go ahead. But say, I think it's the same same time when everybody's getting off work mm-hmm. and they're just. Well, well, go ahead. Why fraud happened. People just got off their lunch break at the bank. <laughs> and between 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 one and three, you ready to go home? Right, you, you ain't really paying attention, nothing. right? <laughs> <laughs> so the fried people come in there. That's when they can come. That's a, that's and a good. Get you. That's a good point. Yeah, because you know? if you if you go to the bank and you try to handle something first thing in the morning, it's harder than if you at the end of the day you try to do some bank stuff. They'll let every, everything slide. <laughs> yeah, out, right? Get the bank out. Right. The art of war point. teaches never. Send your guys to attack 
when they are tired or thinking about getting off. Mm -hmm. See, when people are thinking about getting off, they ain't at their best. You're right. So fraud happens <laughs> after lunch. You just got fed, and the person right. thinking about I'm about to leave work. You're correct. And the, and the thing oh, is got that, a little itis. Oh, got a little itis. Now, Brandon, you see this grape and assault. Mm -hmm. What time you think that happened? Was that 12? <laughs> right at 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> now this tells me. Right. Well, I don't want to say Brandon. Yeah. But if you look at data, this is what the data will tell you. So you you know when this stuff is gonna happen. And that's okay. Why, but go ahead. Go so ahead. this is what the data tells me. If you with a person you don't want to have sex with, just like uh Kevin Seven, you say, see any other man or person, don't be with them between <laughs> 12 a.m. Correct at 3 a.m. Because you know because what why, Brandon? Because these are these are times where it's supposed to be sleep. Don't know most people go to sleep during these times. So if you're around me during these times, you must want to get in the bed with me or something. <laughs> you're trying to go to sleep. <laughs> but I, we, all of this we, stuff is coming since. <laughs> But for some reason, people get assaulted right. at doing these times. Right. And common sense to tell you, don't put yourself in that situation. And, and, we, and we're not happen. just saying that, but just, just going out drinking, you know, being irresponsible around these times. It seems fun, but that's when people get attacked. That's when they get robbed. That's when they get R word. So just, just be smart. You can't you can go out, you can have fun, but just know you have a bigger chance of getting R word around 12 to 3. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. That goes for men too. So just let you know. Brandon, what? Uh, your, your, your daughter is 21 years old. Mm -hmm. She was with a, uh, a, a male friend. Okay. Two male friends. Mm -mm. Should she be in the same room between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m.? No, uh, no. <laughs> no she's, uh, <laughs> she's supposed to be asleep. So... <laughs> No, 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 no. But I'm you just, be but coming I'm just saying, back. You be, no, you're coming, coming back from back where? Coming for back from where? Out uh, late night activities, having fun, okay. dancing. So do people do that not drinking? Yeah, people they do go out and drinking. How, yeah. that's, that's rare, but I, okay. But should you be around a person no. at that time? Because <laughs> you're sending, you're giving all the wrong vibes. <laughs> that's just men telling you what it is. It may sound inconsiderate. It may sound insensitive, but the numbers don't lie. Yeah, man. that's what I'm about to say. The data's there. And watch this. Weapon related. What's the highest, Brandon? What is what is it? But probably about eight, eight to twelve. And why you think from eight to twelve <laughs> more weapons come out? Why you think that? Well, because people are drinking, people out, people intoxicated, and you got the Wonder. night as covered. Right. So you got to you could go Brandon could go outside, drive five miles away, and bah, 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 <laughs> right. and drive back. Right. He probably right. won't get caught. Probably not. But if I do that in the daytime, it's, it's gonna be a little different. <laughs> yeah, you be eyeballs, four eyeballs be right. right. You see, you, you see how these numbers and they they all line up. So if you don't want to get our word, don't be at somewhere between 12 at three o'clock in the morning. Right. If you don't want to get shot, don't be outside <laughs> between eight. Eight and eleven, right? If, if I get, bought a new chain and I'm just out, out in, I'm gonna just say I'm out at Dollar General, just hanging out in the parking lot, listening to music, and, and it's well, let's we'll just say it's about nine, nine, ten o'clock. Well, let's say eight because it probably still could be open. My chances of getting robbed are gonna be higher. Well, you, you now what time is it? It's about eight. Let's say eight thirty. All right, your chances of getting robbed with a gun is higher. <laughs> You're right now, if it's four o'clock, your chances of getting your chain snatched is more there high. You go. Makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. That's that's what the doc. That's what the doctor told <laughs> tell us. So it's Brandon, four o'clock. Somebody go snatch the chain and run. Right. Eleven o'clock. They can put a gun in his face. And get the chain. <laughs> right, because they got to cover the night. So they got to cover the night, and you don't have to run. You put a gun in your face. You can walk off a little bit, <laughs> right? And then run. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, bro. That's all I got. But guys, okay. this is that great good. information. I encourage people to do your business between eight o'clock and eleven o'clock. That is your most safest time of the day. Correct. And as you get in the afternoon, a lot of scamming goes on between twelve and three, and a lot of robbing. Yeah. And uh, uh, stealing goes on between 3 and 11. 
And right. from eight to eleven, a lot of shooting gonna be happy because you got to cover at nighttime. Right. And it's darker sooner. So, you know, you just got more the criminals have more night, you know, to hide in. So just be mindful. It's holidays. People not doing good. Are people you think people have more money this year or less money? Less. Okay. So it's gonna be more crime or less crime. So people and people aren't, it's not like they're spending less. People are spending more and have less money. So they're gonna yeah, have they to compensate sp- somehow. They spend more on the this. <laughs> What they they, and remember them PPB money, they dried up. Right. The government money is all dried up. So you got people working. I, I would love to show videos on the state of black America when a black person is working a job, a delivery job. Mm-hmm. They get out to deliver Amazon and groups of men just rob the truck. Yeah, I've seen that. And I was going to talk about that one that you sent me. Remember when it was just a, a group of kids, like not really a flash mob, but a group, a large group of kids, and they in the road and they're kind of blocking people in kind of to like just to start assaulting their car. Like that's very dangerous. And that I was in one, Philadelphia. And one person was shooting back. Is that is that what would happen? But just I don't, a know, I don't know a person shot back, but that was me. Yo, yo, 13 year old, you hit that car like that, you'll probably get ran over by me. Right, right, correct. Because you, you never know what's going to happen. And then you, you know, you run, say you hit somebody or they, they hit your car. You're going to end up seeing these people again if you're living in a city. And I just feel for people in those cities, in these areas, just because they're they're terrorized by young people. And it shouldn't be that way. We should be able to feel safe in whatever neighborhood we're in. We we all we got and we are biggest enemy sometimes. Like we're hey, everybody. My name is Lewis. And just I'm just came to let you know that I have the best financial book for black people on the market today. This book is designed to help you with things like student loans, housing, employment, and also create income streams so you can support your family and provide security for everybody around you guys. This book is uh, black owned and I use a whole lot of black companies making this book. This book is available on the link below. Make sure you check it out, guys. Check out my reviews. As of today, every person who read my book gave me a phone call about how great the book is, guys. Don't miss this great opportunity to own some black magic, guys. And it's a quick read and it's entertainment. Look at it. I got strippers in the name. But the book is called From Zero to 200K. You can check out this book with the link below. Have a good day.